1984, in June, I was still living in Cleveland just before moving to New York in October. And Cindy Sherman was having her first American retrospective at a museum not far from Cleveland called the Akron Museum of Art. And uh, the curator there invited me to come and take pictures of her. And before coming to take pictures of her, I had studied a catalog that was done here in Munich by Lothar Schirmer. Schirmer Mosel produced it. And as I studied the pictures of her, what I realized is Cindy Sherman is very, very shy. And so what I brought with me was two masks, a white mask and a black mask. And down at the far end, there's a picture of her with the white mask with one of her very large photographs. What then happened is after I moved to New York, at some point, I was asked by Vanity Fair, the magazine, to photograph Cindy because that show that had started in Cleveland for her first American show exhibition um, had moved to a number of uh, other museums and that summer was coming to the Whitney Museum of American Art. And because Cindy was still very unknown in America, Vanity Fair did not ask Annie Leibovitz to photograph her, but they asked an unknown photographer to photograph an unknown artist. Relatively unknown Cindy and relatively unknown Abe in 87 got the assignment, and because we'd already worked together in Akron, she was very open and gave me lots of time, and gave me time even to do another story for the FAZ, which eventually ran pictures by Cindy in the thing and gave her lots of visibility. So this blow up is, a com is something I did in Photoshop uh, as a combination of a portrait of her and something I found on the walls in Brooklyn that got all put together into this very large image now. <laughs> 